Fundamental problem of 4-1 says, determine the moment of the force about point O. So taking a look at the diagram here, to the left we have point O, and then on the right we have this diagonal force of 100 newtons. And this is basically a coplanar scenario where we have basically two forces acting on both the X and Y axis. And we should also take into account our Z axis since we are working with moments for this problem. And now just simply drawing a free body diagram of the system to clear things up a bit. Of course, here we have the horizontal part of the bar and then the vertical at the end, which has a length of two meters. And then the horizontal length is five meters. And then on the top right, we have, of course, the 100 Newton force at an angle, which is described by a 345 slope triangle, just like so. And then, of course, on the far left, we have our point O. And then, of course, we have our basic XYZ uh, coordinate plane. And now the last thing we need to do in this free body diagram is to break down the 100 Newton force into its X and Y components in order for us to take the moments. So of course we can predict that based on the direction of this force, it'll have an X component that points to the right and a Y component that points downwards, just like so. So now that we have the X and Y components on our free body diagram, we can go ahead and describe each moment that is created by each component. So first off, remember that moments M are equal to force F times distance D. So a moment is basically equal to the product of force times distance. And so knowing this and having our free body diagram, we just need to sum up our moments about point O based on the diagram. And remember that we take moments around our Z axis for our X and Y coordinate plane. And for this instance, I'll go ahead and choose counterclockwise as my positive direction. So now summing up the moments here, we first need to determine our components. So starting off with our FY component, FY will be equal to the 100 Newtons times, remember the shortcut for the proportions here is to simply look at the side of the triangle that is parallel to the component you're trying to find. So in this case, it is side three, and that'll be three over the hypotenuse, which is just five. So then Fy is equal to 100 times three over five. So once we know what Fy is, we can simply now determine the moment uh, about point O to the force Fy. So using the right hand rule from O to Fy, we see that we get a clockwise moment, just like so. And the distance D here is simply five meters. And since this is a clockwise moment, this will result in a negative moment since I chose counterclockwise as my positive direction. So this will simply be negative the force 100 times 3 fifths, which is in newtons, times the distance d 5 meters. And now we have our second moment, which is created by the force in the x direction. And now notice that we're going along the vertical direction from point O to fx using the right hand rule, which results in another clockwise moment. And our distance here is two meters. And then the value of fx is equal to, again, the 100 newtons, this time times the horizontal side of the triangle, which is four over the hypotenuse five. And this again is another negative moment as it's also in the clockwise direction whereas our positive direction is counterclockwise. So therefore, we have 
minus our force Fx, 100 times 4 fifths newtons, then times the vertical distance, which is now 2 meters. So simplifying this out, this moment on the left here is negative 300 newton meters minus multiplying this moment on the right here we get 160 newton meters so finally negative 300 minus 160 is negative 460 newton meters so hence the moment of the force about point o mo is equal to negative 460 newton meters.